The volcanic vents were discovered five kilometers down near the bottom of Cayman Trough, an undersea trench south of the Cayman Islands. Expedition co-leader John Copley, a marine biologist at the University of Southampton in England, spoke to us via Skype. Deep sea vents are hot springs on the ocean floor. So they're a little bit like the geysers that you might know from Yellowstone Park in the USA, except they're underwater. So they're not erupting steam, they're erupting really hot fluid that's still liquid, but it's laden with, with dissolved minerals that form particles that look like smoke, and that's why we nickname them black smokers. Although they did not measure the vent temperatures directly, the scientists estimate that the dark material spewing out, mostly copper and other dissolved minerals, is hotter than 450 degrees Celsius. The animals don't live at those high temperatures, like 450 degrees. And that's the temperature, the kind, of te the kind of temperatures you get right at the very throat of the vents, where the hot fluid is gushing out of the Earth's crust. But the animals don't live there. They live a little bit further away. A few meters away, the temperature is down to 20 to 40 degrees. In those cooler waters, around the vents, six-meter-tall mineral spires, the scientists found teeming populations of marine animals, including a new species of shrimp. Copley says the tiny white creatures exist in near-total darkness and feed mostly on bacteria. Instead of two eyes on stalks, like shrimp normally have as an adult, these shrimp have a, a light-sensing organ on their back. They also found hundreds of white tentacle anemones, but they could not collect specimens. Copley says that by studying the deep sea vents and their animal colonies, scientists can better understand how marine life disperses and evolves in the deep ocean. He notes that in the coming years, the ecosystem will see an increasing human presence in the form of deep sea fishing, oil and gas extraction and mining operations. If we're going to make responsible decisions about how we manage those ocean resources, we need to understand what determines the patterns of life in the deep ocean. Copley and his team are now analyzing samples and data from black smoker vents, recently found at four other seafloor sites around the world. This is Sulima Palacio, VOA News.